All right, so let's continue. So far, we have two rising stars, two average, one struggling, zero superstars, zero potential, and zero loser. We still have six more positions. All right, next, junior network engineer, or sometimes we just call this network associate. This is someone that assists in configuring, maintaining, and troubleshooting network infrastructure, supporting the design, implementation, or even operations of network solutions under the guidance of network engineers or senior network engineers. Now, the difference between junior network engineer and a network technician is that a junior network engineer will have more chances working with routing, network automation, network security, hybrid cloud, and many others, which considered to be advanced features and advanced technologies. Having said so, I will put this position to rising star, especially if you are working with high-end network appliances, such as FIBIP, Cisco Nexus, Arista switches, and many others. Also, if you are involved in handling next generation firewall, IPS, NDR, web application firewall or WAF, VPNs, and many others. Next, junior application developer. You're the one assisting in the development, testing, and debugging software applications under the guidance of senior developers. Here's the best thing about this position. There are many paths as a developer. In two, three, or four years, you can be a full stack application developer. You can specialize in cloud development. What else? You can also specialize in machine learning or AI. What else? You can specialize in application security, or you can create a revolutionary innovative application. It can be a game, e-commerce, social media application, or many others. If you're really that talented, you can be independent after a few years of experience. And this is the only role that I can see you propel to become a successful entrepreneur. So I will put this to Superstar Tier. Yeah, talking about the maximum potential. Next, Help Desk, Desktop, or IT Technician. It's a role that offers technical support and troubleshooting for desktop computers, laptops, printers, and other peripherals. And it doesn't matter if you're working in a small or large company. The fact that you're fixing desktop computers and printers is a little difficult for you to switch to a high potential IT position, especially its cloud and software related role. So I'll put this to, you guessed it right, loser tier. Next, junior data engineer, junior data analyst, or junior data scientist. You're the one assisting in the collection, analysis, and interpretation of data to support decision-making and business operations. I never involved in data-related role, but I will put this to potential. And here's the reason. In any data-related role, you can upgrade your skills by learning, machine learning, and AI. And potentially, you can be a machine learning software engineer, an AI research scientist, an AI software engineer, and other machine learning and AI-related positions. Next, Junior Quality Assurance Analyst or Junior QA Analyst. This role involves testing software applications to ensure they meet quality standards and identify any defects or issues. This is a good role if you want stability and less stress. You see, you're not an application developer but you still work with software applications. You're not involved in architecting an application, but you are helping to improve the quality of those software applications. This is an okay to your position. It's not that promising. The salary is also not that competitive. It's okay. So I will put this in struggling. It can be average for some. Anyway, I know people, most of them on their 30s and 40s. They're happy with this role because it's less stress, less responsibility. Next, Junior Security Analyst. Among all security positions, this is the most common 
junior or entry-level role in the realm of cybersecurity. You see, forensic investigator, security auditor, pen tester, not so common entry-level job. All right, so junior security analyst. This role assists in monitoring and analyzing security events, conducting vulnerability management, and supporting the implementation of security measures to protect organizational assets. Most of the time, the role works in a SOC environment. I'll put this to rising star tier. And why not superstar? Because you're not really doing innovation. And it may take time for you to become a really highly paid security professional. Maybe some of you will say, where is this position? Some positions are missing. Well, maybe those positions are not common for junior or entry level. Have you ever thought of that? Comment below, share your thoughts, and don't forget to hit the like button.